get free ride points, gift cards, and much more. And make sure to use the code MONK to receive an extra 50 points. Alright, what's up? What's going on, guys? Captain Monk here, and today's game, we're playing some Popstar Ari in the mid lane. So let's get ourselves the Doran's Ring, a few health potions, and the Warding Trick, and head onto the lane. Look at the teams here today, guys. Of course, yours truly playing that Ari in the mid lane. Also got Time Wizard 109 playing as our Kaelid 80 carry. Phantom Dark, or actually Phantom Dark, with no N, playing as our Chogat top with Ghost, actually. I wonder how that will work. I'm quite curious to see. But uh, we also got uh, Stun. Neko545, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, but I'm doing my best, of course, playing that Jarvan jungle. Then we have Jirasu, playing as our Thresh support. It's looking like we're against the Darius top, the Rengar jungle, the Syndra in the mid lane will be our lane opponents, and then the dual lane of Jinx and Zillion. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is looking like a pretty brutal team comp to play against. Hopefully we can pull it out though and do okay. But yeah, Syndra especially, like in this lane, we have the potential to beat her, of course, but she has a lot of ways to deal with us. I mean, one of the main ways is if we use our dash, she can actually knock us out of it. And I don't know if the damage will be cancelled, but I think it will probably still go through. But, like, if we're dashing, she can use her Scatter of the Weak, her E, to just kind of push us away or something like that. And if she combos that with her stun, it's pretty potent. Not to mention, she just has a really easy time poking at us with her uh, Dark Spheres. Whereas for us, like, Ari's damage is really strong once she scales up. But for the first, first bit of the game, she's kind of awkward to farm with and to do damage with because your Q, it's got two damage components, the, you know, the way there and the way back. And the way there does some damage, but it's really the way back, there's a lot of damage. And you're often not going to hit that because people are paying attention to it because there's just not that much going on in the game yet. Whereas later on in the game, people just aren't going to pay attention to it as much, so they'll get hit by it more. And that's just kind of how it goes. I'm going to dodge that first orb. That's good. Let's see if we can get some auto attacks on the Syndra. You can give us a chance to? All right, we got the auto attack in, but we didn't quite reach the orb. But yeah, so like the first component of it, you're probably going to hit a lot of the time, but sometimes you might miss the way back. And actually, getting a Thunderlord's proc on her. She's going to get it back, though. That's unfortunate. But you know what? It's not too bad. Let's just keep on farming. She got level 2, so this is when we back the hell off and just make sure we're safe until we get level 2 as well. Because whenever Syndra or any lane opponent that has kill potential gets a level advantage over you, that's when you really want to sit stay on the back foot and just kind of chill for a little bit. And let's get ourselves our E level 2, I think. Because, uh, yeah, your W's damage can be very high, especially late game when you're grouping and you're team fighting and stuff. But in the early lane phase, when there's minions around, like, the minions are often going to actually take the damage from your W because it's not a skill shot or a target spell, right? It's just you pop W and then whatever's around you will take hits. And, of course, it does prioritize champions if champions are in the range, but if they're not, it's not going to do a hell of a whole lot for you. Uh, you'll also notice I'm letting her push into tower here. And the reason I'm letting her do that is because although I might miss some minions to the tower, I'm confident that I can make it work anyways and still keep a CS lead. We're only down four so far. Now three, and look how much bigger the wave is for her. So, I think we'll be okay with that. And this sets up ganks for the future, which is obviously good. Hoping to hit the charm on her here. Didn't quite do so though, which is unfortunate. She will proc Thunderlords. We'll just farm here. I think I missed this one regardless of what I do. I don't think I have the damage to get it. I think that's something really important when you're playing a mid lane mage, is to just realize like, hey, you know what? I can't get every single minion. I'm going to miss some of them. And just not try and get the ones you're going to miss, because that's a waste of mana. And right, managing your mana is a really big part of playing mid lane well. And you can see here, we're up three, even though she presses into the tower, so it's not too bad. And I'm going to ping her out here, because I'm hoping that Jarvan will see that and want to come mid. And actually, let's just all in her here. Never mind, she stunned me. I was going to use my ignite on her, but while I'm stunned, I can't actually use my summoners. So, never mind. I think I actually possibly missed out on going into a bad engagement anyway, so that's okay. But I was really thinking there with the way she was fighting, I might be able to just all in her and kill her. But no sweat, all good here. So yeah, the damage you put on your Q, it's kind of wonky, because often your opponents will realize, hey, there's a Q there, let's dodge that. Whereas in team fights, they just won't pay attention to it as much, and they'll get hit by both components. Uh, the W damage, of course, gets mitigated by minions being around, whereas later in the game, you're stronger. That isn't as big of a factor. So it's really up to just hitting a charm and comboing us your spells following that. And Rengar is around. I think Jarvan's safe, though. All right, let's just get what minions here we can. We're actually even, even though this wave's still here. Ooh, do not want to miss the siege. Might mess up some of the future minions I want to get, but I think we'll be able to manage for the most part. It looks like we have managed for the most part. All right, not too bad. And I think we can still get this one. Nice. Yeah, 32 to her 26. We're definitely the lead here. And in this lane, Syndra actually is supposed to dominate us. So as long as we survive and we just do okay until we get to that late game stage where our skills become more relevant, as I mentioned earlier, we'll be, we'll be totally fine. And it's not like Ari can't win the lane phase, but against someone like Syndra who's just this lane dominant, it's really, this is good for us. This is what we want. But if we were playing against somebody who's a little bit less strong in lane, 
I'm trying to think of some examples here, but I'm not quite thinking of any right now because I'm paying attention to Jarvan ganking a little bit more. And there's the combo coming in. Can we get the spells on? I'm actually going to miss everything, but I did get Thunderlord still. But Syndra had a really good juke there. I wasn't expecting her to walk the way she did. And she actually managed to dodge the Jarvan combo too. So yeah, she pretty much played that perfectly. Almost scripting level. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm not going to call her a scripter because the odds of that are pretty damn slim. And she hasn't proc'd Thunderlords on me yet. So I'm just going to wait that out and make sure she doesn't get that from just like an auto attack or something. Because that Thunderlords damage, man, people underestimate it. It does do quite a lot. And I am approaching level 6 here. If I can get that before her... Rip. <laughs> right as I say that too. Okay, but if I can get it soon and hit a charm, from there she's low enough that I can just combo her for the rest of everything else. So there we go. I think we got her. Yeah, just pop the ultimate, pop the ignite, and the W. The three of those dot damages, well, not really dots, but the small burst from your ultimate, small burst from your W, and the ignite dot damage will take her down. And the thing is with Arya that makes her really easy to take out low health targets with is that your W and your ultimate damage is all targeted. You don't have to hit a skill shot or anything like that, so it becomes very easy to just get those kills like that, as you saw. So let's try and push up the lane here as best as we can, missing as few minions as possible, and go from there. Boom, okay. So yeah, 39 to my 49, got a 10 CS lead. I don't know where... Ra oh, never mind. To answer that question, I was going to say, I don't know where Rengar is, so I'm kind of worried about that, but we did this see he got an assist bot lane, so that means he should not be mid lane in time to deal with me. Not to mention he's also level 4, because if he was to show up, I'd probably be able to take him on. Not that I want to, but if he was level 6 on the other hand, I'd be a little bit more scared. Really, Syndra? I mean, yeah. Just embrace my love to the face. How about that? And you, you missed. Okay. Now I'm actually really sad. <laughs> I really thought that I had outplayed the hell out of her there, because she walks into my charm, and then continues to pursue me, misses her stun, and yet, her unleashed power still did all that damage, even though she missed everything else. <laughs> that is a sad way to die, man. That is Syndra for you, though, man. If she's in range to use her R and press that, you're gonna have a bad time, as you saw. But you know what, guys? It's okay. We got ourselves the Fiendish Codex, got ourselves the Lost Chapter. We don't have any potions, though. But Jarvan's going to hold the lane for us here, because we're going to miss this anyways. So because we're going to miss this anyways, there's no real rush to lane. So we may as well wait for that potion, and then run to lane. But with Jarvan having level 6 soon, come mid with 6, Syndra no sums. I'm like 99% sure she has no summoners, because I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, she flashed when I killed her. And then she just used Ghost there. So when Jarvan has 6, she has no way out of it, and we will destroy her. Also, she went with a Null Magic Mantle, or sorry, Negatron Cloak. Uh, the no magic mantle built into Negatron, so I got it mixed up. But yeah, so she's building some magic resist, so... Oh, she got a kill top lane. I probably should have pinged something. I don't know. The thing is with ping, missing pings is like, yeah, they're helpful to your team. They let you know, like, hey, this laner's missing or something like that. But at the end of the day, everyone should be paying enough attention to the map to know exactly where everyone is if they are within vision. And so if you don't see someone within vision, you should just be careful anyways. So, yeah, it is partially my fault for not letting Cho'Gath know Syndra's missing. But if he did die and didn't know Syndra was coming, it's also partially on him. Like, kind of 50-50 on me on him. Because he just didn't pay attention to the map as well. And maybe he did pay attention to the map, and it just wasn't a situation he could get out of. That is a possibility, too. Don't like Jarvan's going in here. Oh, yeah, this is looking good. Let's go ahead and just blow up Syndra. Yeah, see you later. Very nice combo from Jarvan. I don't know if the flash was necessary, but we definitely got the kill there. So thank you, Jarvan, for that. And let's go ahead and just push up the mini wave now. Oops, missing some. And uh, one thing that I will do in today's game that I didn't do in my last Aria recording, which was, I think, summer 2015, is I, in today's game, I do want to be going with the W Max. Uh, in my previous Aria game, which, again, was like a year and a half ago, I went with the E Max second. And the reason for that is because it does give you more upfront burst on a single target and increases the charm duration per rank. So if you're looking for more of a 1v1 kind of a potency build, if that makes sense, like if you want to be 1v1ing better, that's what's going to be doing best for you. But with that said, the W's damage is so strong. And actually, Rengar's here. Or sorry, I thought it was Rengar, Zillion. They look nothing alike, but I just figured because he's in the river, it'd be Rengar. But I'm on the way. Zillion's gonna get revived here. So actually, run up the river. I'll come and block him off. Embrace the love, Zillion! And die to the love. See you later. <laughs> okay, let's go. Actually, should we do Dragon? I mean, I'm feeling it. And if I'm feeling it, let's do it. And there's the Rengar mid, actually. He's coming towards us. I wonder. I wonder if he will be wise and come explore the dragon pit. Alright, he doesn't see me, so I'm going to sneak around. Here we go. See you later, Rengar. You got picked. Holy crap, that damage that Caitlyn did with that shot. And there we go, get the dragon as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Syndra getting exhausted, though. The combo not quite... Oh, no, it is going to land. Nice. 
And that's going to be the kill for Jarvan, but he is going to go down to Syndra. Because Syndra has that insanity burst. Or insane burst, I should say. Not insanity, but you guys get the, the idea I'm trying to get across. Yeah, I'm quite surprised by how it is Riot's going about adjusting Syndra. Because I think in this either most recent patch or a recent patch, like somewhat not too long ago, uh, they changed the way her maxed out W works. Because before it was... If you max out your W, you can pick up an additional two orbs, something like that, to make it so you can throw three at a time or something like that, which is very strong, of course. But I think they changed it so it does true damage now or something. So they just made Syndra even more powerful, but reducing her utility because the orbs allowed her to, like, oh, hello. Don't know why you think this is a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a level 9 Ari, and you're a Rengar level 6 on your own. We saw Darius mid, and I knew he wouldn't be able to get there in time. We knew we killed Cinder recently enough, she wouldn't be there either, so... Yeah, not sure why Rengar thought that was a good idea, and he's gonna get punished for it. And at this point, I'm just letting Cinder push in, because I know with my passive, I should be able to sustain and chill for a bit, and also farm this wave pretty easily, as you can see. Not too bad. And actually, Cho'Gath found their blue buff. Rengar is down, just respawning now, so... It's not like it's a bad idea, but it is very risky, because Syndra could come in and... <laughs> speak of the devil, I'm on the way. And the stun coming in as well. I think Cho'Gath might just live, though. Did we get the blue buff, too? Oh, never mind, a reset. Alright, this is this is really dangerous, though. Can we get the Syndra? I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm totally dead, but Jarvan might be able to clean up Syndra. He won't. Okay. So, I think let's not... No, she... I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like Cho'Gath already knows his mistake. You know what I mean? Yeah, see? He knows. I don't have to say anything. That's the thing with League of Legends, and I want to make sure I clarify this to you guys as viewers. If you're playing League of Legends and a teammate makes an obvious mistake, nine times out of ten, you don't have to tell them it was a mistake. They probably already know. <laughs> and all you're doing by telling them it was a mistake does is make them feel bad, right? And I'm not saying Cho'Gath's bad. I'm saying he made a mistake. But I think he knows that already, and that's okay. Let's get ourselves a control ward here and a few extra potions and boogie back mid lane. But yeah, like I often see that in my ranked games or just in normal games as well. When someone makes an obvious mistake and they know it's a mistake, like give them a second to admit it's a mistake or even just like brush it off and just keep playing because chances are they already know that's a mistake. You're not advising them of new information. I don't know. That's just kind of how I see it. Nine times out of ten, you don't have to say anything in chat. You'll just you'll have the exact same result as when you did say things in chat. Chat's just kind of there to supplement the game. It's not really important. But Syndra was pretty low, and I wonder if we could fight her here. See, the thing is, is I really want to, but I don't think I can. I honestly think I'm getting baited. I'm on the way. I'm sorry, friend. Alright, Syndra's still mid. I really want to kill her. Alright, and I thought my Foxfires would actually be in range, but they were not. So that's kind of awkward, but... Somebody's in the river. I want this. I hit the, ch the charm. Ooh, dodging that. We get this to hit Syndra? Not quite. Ooh, that was close, but I knew we could do it because I knew she was out of cooldowns. Alright, Zillion, you're not going to get me. I'm not going to have any of your old man shit. Get out of here. Yeah, that was that was a definite close call. Rengar's flash there was also kind of strange. I didn't expect him to flash the way he did. Now that I review the footage and like think back through what happened in my head, it does actually make a lot of sense why he flashed that way, because that's where Syndra was, and he wants to, of course, join his teammate. But yeah, at the time I was like, why would he go that way? Why would he not just go the way to safety? But, you know, at the end of the day, it actually was the way to safety. But not too bad of a game here for us so far. Went 4, 2, and 3. Got ourselves 102 CS when Syndra's only on 80. Level 11 just now. Not too bad at all. And actually, Darius is unstoppable. This Darius might become a problem, but he's going bloodthirster though, so... Uh, so, I'm gonna have to go to explain to my team how this, how we have to play this. Because the thing is, if this Darius is 1v1, he's not gonna lose any matchups. But if we group against him... Oh man, don't get hooked. Oh, that's the bad. But yeah, if we group against this guy, and just kind of focus him down when he goes in, he won't be a problem. That's what you have to do against any full damage melee character, is the minute they're in range, just everyone focus them down, and they'll die. But, okay, I thought he was going to go for a die, but he's not. He took a tower shot. I don't know, I'm quite confident we might be able to do some damage to him. We got him. Yeah, we, Cho'Gath just needs some help with that one. I'll let him farm. I don't want him to get... I want him back in the game, man. And let's, like, 
Jarvan actually solo killing Syndra when she had ultimates. Okay, nice. That's really good for us, because that just goes to show that Syndra's not really that powerful. And I kind of want to go bottom make plays. I also kind of want to go mid make plays, but truthfully, there's not really many plays being made right now. I don't have ultimate, I don't have ignite, and I have a lot of gold to spend. I should just go back. I wasted a lot of time just running back to mid lane just to recall, but it's better to figure out what we should be doing uh, later rather than never, right? So there we go, got ourselves some items. So our first item, of course, guys, is the I'm In my previous game, which was like a year and a half ago in the summer game of Ari with the Challenger skin, I went with the Athenes first, which at the time was actually like a pretty common thing to build. Nowadays, it's kind of dead. No one really builds Athenes anymore. So Meryl Namakon. Ability power, mana, obviously both really good stats, color reduction, where spellcasters have that is really good. And then the dealing magic damage champs below 35% health uh, does grievous wounds. Frankly, that's just a cherry on top, but against a Bloodthirster Darius, it's a bigger cherry, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. Like, that's going to really help us, and I really thought she didn't see me and was going to keep going. I was wrong, but that's okay. We have double buffs, so we have lots of mana to spare. And yeah, let's go on the side of this and clear them out. And then join my team, because it looks like they're in a fight here. And I might be able to flank these guys, because Syndra has to farm mid lane. This is the power of mid lane. Ooh, hello. Avoid her spells, and then kill her? Yeah, there we go. And I'll kill some raptors too, for good measure. And is anybody going to come this way? You're going to come this way. And I missed my spells. Alright, let's just splash this way and use the plant. Hey. Oh god, please, Jinx. Alright, we'll just kill the Jinx. Oh god, Darius is here. I'm very dead. <laughs> I got so overwhelmed. There were so many of them all after me. Like, I get Ari's cute, but like, guys, she only can have one person at a time. <laughs> Alright, but it looks like Jarvan's gonna get the triple- Nope, he's gonna get- Well, sorry, he did get the triple- I was gonna say the quadra, but fucking Thresh scumbags that for the double buffs. <laughs> what a homie. Okay, let's get ourselves the Aether Wisp, the sperm items like to call it. And, uh, well, I mean, I, I don't like to call it that, but it looks like a sperm, so like, what else am I gonna call it? I mean, Aether Wisp? What a lame title. You gotta call it what it really is. It's the, it's the sperm item. So yeah, we're gonna get Lelune's Echo here second, guys. Reason being, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go ahead and run it down real quick. Extra ability power, really good. Movement speed allows us to be more mobile. And as already, we already have a movement speed from your Q. Stack it upon that makes it even more powerful. So that's really good. And extra burst, which is really good for Ari because she kind of needs that to wave clear effectively as she only really has... I mean, you could say she has two spells to wave clear with. I prefer to think as one because your W is just kind of awkward, as you can see just from watching me play Ari. It's just, it's just kind of there. So having extra proc from Ludens is really nice. Let's go back here, get that Ludens, get blue buff, and then murder everyone. Because this item is going to allow us to do that. And then for our third item, I will probably be getting Rabadons, but I might change it up depending upon what happens for the rest of the game here. Like if Darius continues to get huge to the point where I actually have to deal with him, I might be able to get uh, Hourglass next. I plan to get Hourglass at some point anyways, but I don't know exactly how soon. The thing is, though, is Abyssal could also be really good against Syndra. So, yeah, I really don't know just yet what I'm going to build, but I'll figure it out soon enough. But probably Rabadons, as I think this game's going to continue to go well for us, and I think we can pull off the Rabadons next. Not to mention, just more damage is more fun, so... I think it's what we'll be doing. But there we go, blue buff and Luna's Echo. Really good spot for us, really big power spike. Our farm is kind of lacking, but we are still beating the Syndra. And I was hoping to use my charm there, then my W, my charm was still on cooldown from killing blue. Hey, what the hell, Zillion? Alright, pop your alt. Go for it. Wait for that to end. You know what? I'm honestly pretty okay with this. But I'm missing every spell of mine. But Darius takes so much damage from us. You can see already, yeah. See later, Darius. What did I tell you guys earlier? When Darius joins the fight, just focus him down and the problem is solved. Alright, let's just wave clear here. Because they are backing off. And we can push the tower now. Because they have two down, Zillion and Darius. Syndra used a lot of her spells, so she's not really a factor anymore. So we can just hit a charm and combo whoever we hit. Provided we do hit somebody, that is. We did. Okay, Jinx is not quite going to die because she dodged the second portion of my Q. But we should still be able to win the fight. Jarvan killed Syndra. Nice. And I'll get these minions here and get some damage on the tower. Not too bad. Nice damage on Rangar. Cho'Gath is not going to hit the rupture, so we can't quite follow that up. But we should have this tower. They are respawning, though. we got to be careful here. But I think we've got what we need. Yeah, we do. Nice. And I wonder if their blue's up. I was just staying off the dead wolves, never mind. Blue buff? Nope. Sadness. It's okay, though. 
Uh, let's run top lane. I think if we go to top, we might be able to pressure this tower. I want to get all the three outer towers, and Cho'Gath went bot side instead of going top with us, so we'll take up his mantle here and do this. Angle the Q so we hit the wave and get a lot of healing. Look at that. Mm. Ari's passive is honestly really underrated. It sustains you so, so very much. We can just kill this Darius because he's really weak, honestly, with that Bloodthirster build of his. Like, it may work against the Cho'Gath because Cho'Gath has to get in his face, but against me, I just do so much damage to him and he has nothing to hit because I'm so far away from him that he just does poorly. So there we go. Got ourselves the outer turret up top lane. The thing is, though, is, yep, there's people here. <laughs> that Thresh hook was godlike. I don't know how he knew Cinder was there, but somehow it appears like he did. Just gonna get a ward here and see if we can find more people. I think me and Thresh are the dynamic duo of this one. And I thought I hit Rango with that charm, but I guess not. Rango, why are you denying my love? I dressed up all cute for you in this pop star outfit. I thought you would appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, Sun's not gonna land. Alright, Zillion. Zillion, man. You're better than this. You're better than the Zillion. What are you doing walking into my love? You're too old for me. <laughs> Alright, Rangar, is it going to be your turn now? It is going to be your turn now. Alright, Darius is here now, though. You got to be so careful of him because he has a lot of damage, but I think we have enough damage to actually just beat him down. And, oh god, I didn't hit anybody with that. Please. Oh, that was such an, a misplay by me. I thought I would kill Jinx. That was just stump, though. I should have... Okay, nice. At least Caitlyn got Darius. But yeah, that was just greedy by me. I went a little bit too ham for the kill that really wasn't necessary to go ham for. I could have just backed off and just gotten it later, because I had Flash. I had my other spells off cooldown pretty soon. I just got impatient. Looks like Darius will finish off Rengar, though. Very nice. Let's get ourselves these components towards our Rabadons. And it looks like Cho'Gath found Syndra, but I don't know if he can fight her, necessarily. They're both using Ghost, though. It's kind of like a race. It's like Mario Kart. <laughs> Who can go faster? Alright. So yeah, Cho'Gath, you know, he was having a hard game. I won't deny that. But look at the farm difference. And look at the pressure difference. Like, he's pressuring bot lane and forcing Cinder to come down. That's something in itself. And Darius is really falling off because he's going full damage like a dummy. So if we just keep focusing him like we are, he's just not a problem anymore. Yeah, I think by the end of this game, Cho'Gath's going to feel a lot better about his performance because he did have a rough lane phase, but he's going to be a way bigger factor in team fights and grouping with us because he has a much better build. So he'll be a much more useful top laner than their Darius has been. Or will be, I should probably say. Give me. Damn it! I was so slow! I just I just wanted that. Jinx? I'm not sure if this is... Like, oh, I missed everything. God damn it. Alright, I'm sad now. If I hit my charm, though, man, if I if I made the Jinx fall in love with me, we would have done great things. The thing is, I don't think they can stop me from getting this. If they try to, I have backup right next to me, so I think I can get that and then back into this brush. Somebody's going to get curious. Somebody. Who's curious? Okay, and Caitlyn versus Darius is probably not a good idea, but if we get the dragon fast enough, it shouldn't be too bad. They can flash into the pit, they totally are, but we still get it. Um, Zillion, okay, I walked into that bomb, that was probably a bad idea, but can we just kill the Zillion? Alright, he's gonna revive. Can we get a Q over? I can, okay, nice. Get one. Can we get all of them? Ooh, I didn't need to do that. Alright, quadra kill. I'll take it, though. I killed everybody, but I shouldn't have flashed for that last Q, because that was really unnecessary. I didn't think my W was in range, so I went for it, but yeah, that was misplay. But it's okay, though, because I managed to kill everyone else, so can't complain too much. Will I get the Penta? I don't know that I will, but I'm going to try. Oh my god. I am so bad at League of Legends. <laughs> that was like the freest Penta ever, if it was still in time for the Penta, and I just missed my Q. Alright, it's fine though. We're still 11, 4, and 9. Gotta get the inhibitor tower. Not too bad. Where'd Darius go anyways? Is he just, he's probably just a base re uh, healing and stuff. Well, let's just run away. Ooh, thank you for this. Haha, <laughs> nice try Darius, you missed me. Okay, yeah, that was definitely bad by me though. Holy crap. Because I think also in that team fight, I think I let Jarvan tank too much damage for too long. Because Zillion was in the pit and being distracting and stuff, and I got distracted by that and misplayed that. 
I could have joined the fight sooner and made more happen. It's okay, they're going to steal their blue buff. And I kind of want to go kill their Rengar. But at the same time, I also want to go back and buy items. The choices. I think I'll just go kill Rengar. Ooh, Darius is here though. Okay. I think Darius being here is a signal I should just go back. <laughs> he also got the Spectre's Cow. Finally, he is learning that he can't just go full damage. But because he's doing that, I will counter that with a Void Staff. Void Staff 4th would be really good for me. Not to mention, also, Syndra has Abyssal, so this will help me even further with that. And because I got that Quadra, like, I'm pretty damn strong now in this game. So I want to kind of further that pressure that I've created by being strong, by making sure my damage goes through. Because what good is it if you're fed and you get all the gold for your team if you don't actually do enough damage to carry? It's a big factor of League of Legends a lot of players disregard. They're like, oh, I'm... I'm really fed, but I gotta make sure I survive. It's like, well, yeah, that's true. You do have to survive. You gotta make sure you do damage, too. Okay, Darius. Okay, friendo, calm down. I just see him get that Blood Rage going on, the Noxian Might. It used to be called Blood Rage. That's why I, used to, I always get that confused, but it is, in fact, called Noxian Might. Whenever I see that go off, I'm like, okay, Darius, calm down. Don't have to get so angry. It's okay. It's just a video game. We may as well steal all their buffs, like why not? By using my spells like this, I'm just getting much more stacks of my passive and healing up more and more, so it's not too bad. I'm just gonna leave Fresh there behind. <laughs> I'll come back with you though, friend. I got you. I got you. If they try to stop us here, they're gonna have a bad oh god, what am I saying? I'm wrong. At least I'll get Cinder, right? Dude, I'm so sad. <laughs> I was like, if they come here, they have a bad time, and then fucking Syndra comes out of nowhere, pops us like the balloon we are as this Ari. Oh man, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have played that so confidently, not having vision behind us. That was the issue we had there. But yeah, if they came face to face with us, like right here, like we were expecting them to, we would have destroyed them hands down, but yeah. Got cocky, disregarded, important factors in League of Legends. But Jarvan picked up the nice pick there onto Jinx. Okay, with my next life, hopefully I won't die anymore. I don't like dying more than five times if I can prevent it. So I'm going to try and keep ourselves from dying more. And it looks like Cho'Gath's finding a fight here. There's no dragon, so I don't know why he's there. But hopefully he can get out safely. He's getting really slowed out. How much more do I need for Void? Okay, another bit of gold. Actually, you know what? Darius is pushing top lane. I think someone needs to address that, and that will be me. I volunteer as tribute. He also has Spear of Visage now, so he's definitely going to be... More problematic than before when he only had Spectre's Cowl, but damn, missed the siege. I had a feeling you were taking these. Okay, what the heck? He got a crit? Did you guys see that, or is it just me? I think he got a crit on his auto attack there. Which I don't know what the odds of that are, but he has 4%. Okay, well, there you go. 4% crit, and you got the crit, so lucky you, Mr. Basketball Player. Alright, I'm not hitting any spells on him either. We can do this if I can not get hit anymore, but that's really unlikely, so we'll see how this goes. So that's the thing, man. Even with the exhaust, like... Like, if I get close enough to fight this guy, I'm gonna die. So, I can't do it. I just gotta be safe. Sorry, Thresh, man. I, I appreciate the sentiment and the idea there, but... Getting in range to continue that one would get me killed. But it looks like bot lane, because Darius isn't there, it's just gonna destroy them. Jarvan will go down, but they get the Jinx and the Rengar, so nice job there. Actually, I think Rengar died a while ago, so it was just Jinx, but still, good stuff. I'll go mid lane. It looks like my team should be winning the fight. At least I'm pretty sure they are. So I'll clear up these, and I'll make my way down. Syndra's getting pretty low. I have my ultimate soon, too. Darius is there, too, though. Oh, and the revive coming in. Uh-oh. All right, but if Zillion's still around... Hmm, I don't know about this. All right, we got Syndra, though. That's really good to start off the fight. I'm going to ignite Darius to keep his healing down as much as we can. And I'll try and ulti away. Okay, there we go. Where's Rengar? Hop on me, do it. I dare you. Alright, he's not going to do it. Where is he? As long as Thresh stays on top of me, like, this is pretty easy to survive. Oh my god. Please. Yeah, see? See, okay, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be, but it was still pretty fucking easy because we did it. Oh god, Jinx Rocket. 
All right, there we go. 15 and 5 and 9. Not too bad. Our farm could be better this game, but you know what? We're making up for it by by slaying our opponents. And that's always what League of Legends is fun for. Let's get ourselves the Void Staff next. And for our final item, I do think the Hourglass is the way to go. Reason being, if Cinder bursts us, we can negate a lot of the damage because we'll see that she's ulting us. So we'll be able to block that. Even though we don't have the magic resist, we'll still be able to see it coming and prevent that. If Darius or Rangar becomes a threat, we can avoid their damage. Not to mention the armor will help as well. So yeah, Hourglass is definitely a good final option for us. Not to mention as well, uh, getting that item will give us another 10% CDR, I think. Yes. Which will cap us out at 40. I and mean, that's what you always want when you're playing pretty much any mage. There are some exceptions, but for the most part, you want to get that 40% CDR. Because so you can't get any higher. And being lower is just not what you want. Actually, you can get 45%, but you need to run the mastery. And running that mastery in exchange for losing the magic and armor pen isn't really worth. Now, Darius is top. Hello, Syndra. You're just going to die straight up. See you later. Uh, Darius is top, so we should go for the inhibitor. Man, they are fast. That's Zillion. Controlling time and making things go quick. Alright, are you gonna come close to me, Jinx? Yeah, you know better. Or do you? Do you know better? Alright, free inhibitor. And Darius is actually... Or not Darius. Jarvan was 1v1ing the Darius and lost. No surprise there, to be honest. I don't know why he thought that was a good idea. Alright, but Jinx is dead. The revive's gonna come in, though. And when she comes back in, let's just pop her again. Boom, see ya. And Darius is here. Let's... Ooh, miss the charm, actually. Darius does not want love. I thought he would. Ari's pretty cute. Like... What's your problem, Darius? <laughs> Kidding, of course. Let's just go bot lane and join Cho'Gath. He's hitting up that turret, and that turret will go down. If we can just kill Darius before his team joins him, that'd be ideal. Come on. Kill the basketball player. They're in the wrong league. <laughs> Alright, I don't really know how to help you on this one, Cho'Gath. Never mind, you don't need help. You're a, you're a tanky man, you are. Alright, Sidra got charmed. She's gonna die for her sins. See you later. If we get the Darius next, I think we can. Alright, Rengar. You're up next. And now Zillion. <laughs> he just gets completely blown out of the water. See you later, Zillion. Okay, and with that, that should be the Nexus Towers. Let's go ahead and take those out. Is there any more kills? There's Jinx. I don't have 20 kills yet. They surrendered, though. No, that's not allowed. GG, but like, come here. No. God, fuck, damn it. <laughs> Alright, that's the game here, guys. You know what to do if you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave that rating and subscribe for more. And let's check out the post-game stats. Holy moly, though, guys. What a game. That was really fun. I had a great time. Alright, so we got ourselves an S on Ari. Feels good, man. Let's see if there's a second feels good, man. Please? A. Feels good, man, times two. We have the most damage in the game, which is what I always like. 55,000 damage. Jarvan coming in with a close... Or, sorry, not a close second at all, actually. A pretty... I mean, close to being third, sorry, close to being second after Darius. Darius had the second most at 29,000, then Jarvan at third, and then Syndra. Our jungle actually did with a, I mean, he had mostly damage for his build, so it kind of makes sense, but still, he is Jarvan. He's not exactly the highest damaging champion uh, as far as, like, overall damage goes. Like, he's got high burst, but he doesn't really have high damage to multiple targets, whereas, like, Syndra's a mage. Like, she's supposed to be doing damage like I'm doing, and yet she was down here. So, you kind of get what I'm saying, but... That's that. Let's look at other stats, like healing done. See, look at that. Because of Ari having no sustained build, just her passive, we managed to heal for 7,000 HP. Jarvan, with a build with lifesteal, and sorry, two lifesteal items, <laughs> healed just a slight bit more than us. At 3,000 more. That should kind of give you an idea of how much healing Ari's passive gives. And Cho'Gath, I mean, obviously his feast heals him. Uh, Rengar's probably lifesteal and his W heals him. Zillion from his passive... Or sorry, not his passive, his ultimate, right? So it kind of gives you an idea of how strong Ari's passive really can be. So that's the game here, guys. You know what to do if you enjoyed it. Make sure to follow me on social media. So Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, all those links are in the description below. If you want to play in games with me, check out the Discord as well. You can check that out in the description and hop in there and just talk with us and hang out. It's pretty chill. We just hang out and talk. And that's where I find players for games. And that's all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. If you enjoyed the video here today and want to make sure you don't miss any new videos coming out, Make sure to turn on all notifications for the channel, that way you miss no content. Have a good one guys.